Dragon Shield sleeves are the best sleeves on the market. They are tied only with KMC Hypermats, standing head and shoulders above everyone else. Naturally, I became both nervous and excited when I learned that the new Dragon Shield turquoise would be made differently. The new turquoise sleeves are made on a different machine, but you can tell right away that something is different with these new sleeves because of the way they lie flat in the box, whereas classic Dragon Shields have a slight curl right out of the box. Before I go any further, I want to talk about this. I've heard some people express worry about the fact that Dragon Shield sleeves come with a slight curl out of the box. They are concerned this might somehow bend or curl their cards. In fact, this is nothing to be worried about at all. The curl goes away once you've sleeved your cards, and even so, Magic cards are made from a high-quality board stock that can handle a lot more pressure than a Dragon Shield sleeve is putting on it. What's actually going to happen is your Magic cards are going to flatten out the Dragon Shield. But this isn't even a worry anymore with the new Turquoise sleeves because, as I said, and as you can see, they lie perfectly flat. Here are some side-by-side -side comparisons of the Turquoise with classic green Dragon Shield sleeves. I see no noticeable difference visually once they have been sleeved on cards, except perhaps a bit of remaining curl in the classic green Dragon Shield. For your reference, here is a side-by-side -side comparison with some of the other leading sleeves. KMC Hypermat, Ultra Pro, Fantasy Flight, Legion, Max Protection Metallic Green. I love Dragon Shield sleeves, but I've always found double sleeving with them to be a real chore. The new turquoise double sleeve with ease and also appear to hold less air inside as well. If you are a double sleever like myself, you'll probably prefer the turquoise over the classic style. Let's start with the pros. Turquoise lie flat in the box and on your card. They are also easier to double sleeve. Like with classic Dragon Shields, the turquoise are thick and firm. Perhaps due to the fact that they now lie flat, they are easier to mash shuffle with. The turquoise sleeves are still thick and firm like the classic Dragon Shields, and this allows for riffle shuffling and easier mash shuffling. So what are the cons? Sadly, turquoise sleeves have not fixed Dragon Shield's only major problem, which is the heavy retention of dirt and grime. In other words, these sleeves will get sticky fast if you do not play with them on a clean playmat or a very clean surface. Wash your hands or else you're going to end up with some sticky sleeves. This was a problem for the classic sleeves as well, so there's no noticeable change in this area. Wash your hands. There is one noticeable difference between classic Dragon Shields and the new Turquoise, and that's the fact that they are easier to split. Now, listen to me very carefully. Dragon Shield Turquoise are still the toughest sleeves on the market. They are tougher and less likely to split than Ultra Pro, Legion, even the KMC Hypers but they are easier to split than the classic Dragon Shields. You'll remember in my first video, I tried to pull apart a Dragon Shield sleeve and couldn't. Here's me applying the exact same pressure to a turquoise sleeve. I tried this with several sleeves and found that, while still tough and hard to split, they do split and are easier to split than classic Dragon Shields. What's my overall grade of the new turquoise dragon shields? I'm going to grade them A-. They lay flat and are easier to double sleeve with, but get a minus for still getting sticky easily and splitting easier than the classic sleeves. As always, choosing the best sleeves for you means understanding what each brand offers and what your personal needs are as a player. 
Remember, whatever those needs may be, try and support your Magic community by buying your sleeves and singles at your local game store whenever possible.